In a solitary prison cell at Fort Santiago in Intramuros, between midnight and five o'clock in the morning of Wednesday, the 30th of December, 1896, the day of his execution. Adios, patria dorada, región del sol querida, perla del mar de oriente, nuestro perdido Edén. Farewell, dear fatherland, clime of the sun caressed, pearl of the orient seas, our Eden lost. Adarte voy alegre, la triste, Mustia vida. Gladly now I go to give thee this faded life's best. Y fuera más brillante, más fresca, más florida, también por ti la diera, la diera por tu bien. And were it brighter, fresher, or more blessed, still would I give it thee, nor count the cost. En campos de batalla, luchando con delirio, 
Otros te dan sus vidas sin dudas, sin pesar. On the field of battle, with the frenzy of fight, others have given their lives without doubt or heed. El sitio nada importa. Cipres, Laurel, Olirio. Cadalso o campo abierto, cum patrio, cuel martirio. The place matters not. Cypress or laurel or lily white. Scaffold or open plain. Combat or martyrdom's plight. Lo mismo es. Si lo piden, la patria y el hogar. Tis ever the same, to serve home and country's best. Adios, padres y hermanos, trozos del alma mía, amigos de la infancia en el perdido hogar. Dad gracias. Que descanso del fatigoso día. Farewell, parents, brother and sisters, from my soul turn away. Friends of my childhood, in the home dispossessed, give thanks that I rest from the wearisome day. Adios, dulce extranjera, mi amiga, mi alegría. Farewell, sweet foreigner, my friend, my happiness. Adios, queridos seres. Farewell, beloved ones. Morir es descansar. To die is to rest. Ang bayan kung Pilipinas, lupa inang gintot pulaklak, pagibig ang sa kaniyang palad, nagalay na ganda tilak at sa kaniyang
My regiment is being sent to the Philippine Islands. Dad, Mom, our ship sails tomorrow. Go with God, son. I'm going to. They'll be needing nurses there. Going where? To the Philippines. If my brother goes there to kill, I'm going there to heal. I'll go with you. I'll go there to teach. If he goes there to kill, if she goes there to heal, if he goes there to teach, I'll go there to preach. Do you have to go? You're not happy here? We have all the comforts of home. You've got good jobs, and you will be graduating from the seminary in less than a year. And there are churches here waiting for you. You're leaving all this, and you're leaving us? Your mom and me? For what? For, for the, the Philippines! Philippines. I live as a soldier because the insurrection goes on, goes on. I go as a healer for the wounds of war must be bound. I go that the widows and orphans of war Your brother goes as a soldier because that's his duty to our country, and he gets paid for it. You go, I guess, because of your professional oath as a nurse, but aren't you due for promotion at the hospitals here? I know you say you go as a teacher to spread that great American philosophy that education is the key to liberty. I only hope there are schools there who can pay as much as what you're getting here. But. America, the new world, came to be Because in your world, we cannot be what we wanted to be I go now, dead mom, to preach the truth That will make people free But do they need you? Do they want you? How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? How then shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach? Except they be sent that the Lord asks, Whom shall I send? And I say to him, Send me, send me to strange, distant shores. Send me to tend to your vineyard, send me to tend, and patiently work till your blessings bend.
and me for the harvest is truly great and the laborers are few send me as a laborer into the harvest though as a lamb among wolves do I go send me to preach the tidings unto the meek send me to bind the broken hearted to proclaim liberty to the captives go forth all that more to give unto them beauty for ashes So off they went to the Philippine Islands. Ministers, teachers, doctors, nurses, engineers, they all went as missionaries. They established churches, hospitals, schools, and on October the 1st, 1905, on a 60-acre marshland in the district of Haro in Iloilo City, the Reverend William O. Valentine and other missionaries established an industrial school for poor boys. They called it Haro Industrial School. those humble beginnings. The school grew and grew, and by 1922, it became Central Philippine College, a school for both boys and girls, under the stewardship of several brilliant and dedicated leaders, notably 
Dr. Francis Howard Rose, Dr. Harlan Stewart, and Dr. Fred Chambers. Central Philippine College was recognized as one of the most prestigious centers of Christian education in the country. But by Christmas of 1941, the winds of war blew all over the land. It's not the buildings, but the students they have housed. But the students are gone. The students are gone. The school is closed on government orders. The students have left for the safety of their homes or risk their lives. To enlist as soldiers
this is goodbye for us. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, sir. Go with God. I'm afraid this war will drag on and on. So, shall we surrender? Take our chances and invoke the Geneva Conventions. Or hide in the mountains, take our chances, and carry on. Oh, how I wish I could join you in the hills and raise my children breathing the fresh unspoiled air but with two young boys and a baby girl how far can i go with you before i hinder you on your trail becoming a burden a cause of great despair Tempting it seems to me After all the trials past And more trials coming our way To simply give up And submit to the enemy's mercy Surrender and be saved That's the way of survival The prison gates beckon Promising rest
sun in concentration camps Facing death, disease, and starvation We will surrender, we will give up We will take our chances This war may take forever But the appointed time will come And when the Lord comes back to judge us We can say to Him task is Some missionaries decided to surrender. Others decided to seek refuge in the hills and continue with their missionary work. They left Iloilo City and went to Barrio Katipunan in the mountains of Tapas Capis, where they found a place of refuge they fondly called Hopeville. They were joined there by other missionaries from Capis and later by an American mining engineer from Asbate his wife, and their two young sons. They were safe in Hopevale, for almost two years. But at the daybreak of December 19, 1943, just five days before Christmas, the Japanese came. Me, Captain Watanabe. You, enemy, die! Captain Watanabe, sir, can you please give us at least one hour to pray? One hour, pray!
So they pass from life to life, leaving their legacy of Christian love in the lives of those who have known them or heard about them, and those who have come to Central and have been touched by the Central Spirit, the Spirit that continues to be nourished by the blood of their martyrdom.
almost leveled to the ground during the war, Central was far from dead. Soon the campus came to life again. And in the prophetic words of Dr. Rex Drilon, who would later become its first Filipino president, out of the ruins and ashes of war shall rise a greater central.
From then on, Central was rebuilt and has grown far beyond the wildest expectations of those who built her. Gentlemen, Joshua J. Misahon and Vinny Edhard Udemne on Voice Over. Our young gentlemen guests. The Bahandi Singers. the CPU Bini dancers. <laughs> Mrs. Agnes Candoli Kimpo and keyboard accompanist. Rodolfo Valera Cabado, scriptwriter and co-director. <laughs> Jose Denzel Dacchiado, musical director.
Edwin C. Duero, choreographer and co-director. Mrs. Ninfa Chan San Luis and Mrs. Risa Zargado Amagin, our artistic consultants.